Hey everybody, it's Tag J, and you can actually see our lovely faces this time. This is day three of our QuakeCon podcast. Uh, QuakeCon 2010, that is, as though we've been around for longer than that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, um, today's been exciting, I would say. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to other people's thoughts, and I will kind of close things back up at the end. So, um, Tugger, let's start with you this time. Man, today was sweet. Like, uh, getting to go through and go to that second NVIDIA panel Mm -hmm. was awesome because we were actually in prime spots to acquire things, which was great. (laughs) Swag.com. Yeah. Swag. If you yell, you get a prize. Yeah. Even if you don't yell. Like, people were getting hit in the face with t-shirts. Let me... Let me... <clears throat> okay. It's like alien. When you think about Nvidia, I want you to just think to yourself for a second. What do you think about in terms of what I'm going to get for swag? You know, I, I just, when when you guys walked in, what did you think you were going to get as far as free stuff goes? <laughs> Tucker? Oh, Sharpies, definitely. Sharpies, yeah. okay. Sharpies. Yeah, like like a, a lanyard or lanyard. You know, a t-shirt. Yeah. How about maybe a t-shirt? How about uh, an <clears throat> Nvidia Snuggie? Yeah, no, that wasn't didn't first on see the list. that coming. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so Nvidia, <clears throat> and their genius, I suppose. <laughs> I can't really place whether it's genius or dumb luck, and uh, yeah, <laughs> they uh, they had, as far as I could tell, like two to three hundred snuggies. They they just whipped into the audience, <clears throat> and this happened to the entire con. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, and you know, sh- free stuff, free swag. We go nuts. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. That makes it official. Graphics cards, computer towers, power supplies, like <clears throat> truly top of the line materials. Oh yes. Yeah. But people were willing to trade all of those for the Snuggies. Snuggie was in the raffle for sure. Snuggie like, was the most popular item. There was it was between a raffle ticket to win, um, <laughs> <coughs> determining the order. Uh, not not actually deciding between the two, but um, <clears throat> they were either going to do <laughs> a raffle for the, the last Snuggie as the last raffle drawing, or a ticket to um, possibly win one of the $50,000 cars yeah, that know. they had. So, the Shelby people, Mustang GTO. The entire crowd <laughs> just would yell <clears throat> almost uh, ceremoniously, just, Snuggie! <laughs> Yeah, so... But, you know, it makes sense now. After meeting some of the guys... Uh, you gotta have were, somewhere to lay your head when yeah, you don't have the, a room at the Anatole. The, being, the Bring Your Own Computer group evidently was all just crashing under tables there, which yeah. makes Snuggies a pretty hot commodity. Exactly. So. Yeah. If, if any of you guys have ever been to another con, I worked at Acon this summer as well. I mean, basically kids just show up with bags and a costume, and they're like, hope I find a nice chair and some shoes to lay my head on. You know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But... Hardware presentation, lots of stuff to keep everyone coming back, and oh, yeah. you know, even oh, yeah. though I got four T-shirts, um, I got four, and, and yeah, none of us scored anything huge, but I, think I got a big T-shirt. You got a big T-shirt. That's a, that's <laughs> a big T-shirt. Yeah. All right, great. You could you could fit two Tuckers in there. That's not saying much, which though. is terrifying. No. <laughs> um, you wouldn't want that. Exactly. Uh, the the thing we did at the top of the morning, actually, at eleven o'clock, we had uh, the Brink presentation. Uh, and I told you about that yesterday. Yeah. Paul Wedgwood was, uh, he was giving us first-hand experience of, of what all you can do. Uh, and, man, it is just, Gosh. it's so pretty. And it, you look at it, and we, I even played on, when I played it, we played the demo on the same level. Uh, Dirty Bomb is the name of the level. Uh, the same one that everyone's already seen. So even the one I played was one that think people had already seen. Yeah, there's this been one, a video out for a long yeah, time yeah. about that. Uh, and uh, you know, this time they they went through two different levels. They gave us two different aspects. Uh, you know, they played the the rebels and the uh, security. And uh, I'm gonna get more into that. I'm gonna go in depth and do my own thing. But uh, they they just went hands on. There'll be more videos about it. I'm sure uh, released by bigger <coughs> sites than us. But you uh, should watch ours anyways. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you're already ours, here. You made it to the five minute mark. So well, just I'm proud don't of pause. You. Don't pause. <coughs> don't close it. Don't threaten them. We're I don't know, it was a plea. Oh, okay. oh a plea, okay. <laughs> I saw the um, death in your eyes. No, I don't, I, that's, that's exhaustion. <laughs> as far as Brink goes, uh, seriously, like, 
I came to this expecting maybe, hopefully, some kind of uh, news pertaining to, you know, the next Elder Scrolls mm -hmm. or the next uh, Doom, but really I was here to see Rage. Like, Rage is just astounding looking, truly, truly gorgeous in its presentation and its concept and its vision, and Brink actually may be my best in show like oh, it's sure. it's almost <clears throat> just as as awesome as rage was as great as the rage demo was brink is just you know a head and shoulders above mm -hmm. what even i was expecting from that having kept up with it really well and it's only an alpha yeah that, 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 that blew yeah. my mind <clears throat> yeah the, you know paul wedge with a splash damage he was just like in his you know, very sensual and uh, majestic British tones. He told us, yeah, we're in alpha right now. So people were asking about DLC and things like that, and he's like, yeah, let's get to the beta before we start <laughs> thinking about anything else. And uh, for being an alpha, like, these guys are not messing around, so... It's, it's going to be a... I don't see how it could possibly be anything except the most just polished and beautiful experience mm -hmm. at this point. I mean... For an alpha, we're looking at amazing, amazing product quality. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what else did we do today? Well, um, we took naps, which oh, I think we all needed. Man, those were delicious. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, I mean, we we did the the presentation this morning, the Brink thing, and uh, the we got a bunch of free stuff, and then there was the closing. That's right. Tonight, that's right. So. We were supposed to. <clears throat> We were supposed to have an interview with Crucial Memory, uh, which we talked about in the second podcast. Uh, turns out that their booth wasn't there the third day, and they had to pack up. But <clears throat> we are in a uh, email conversation with them, and uh, we mentioned there would be a uh, contest of sorts for a uh, memory package from them. And uh, as <laughs> the more we know about it, the more you'll know about it. But Details upcoming. Things are going to happen between us and Crucial Memory. They gave us hardware to uh, check out, hold on to, of course, <laughs> and we're going to you know, start reviewing that, of course. I uh, have a buddy of ours do that. Uh, Michael Percival will be doing that, actually. You haven't <coughs> seen his face yet, but uh, it's gorgeous. He's, he's around. He so. is a sexy man. Uh, but I think that um, it'll be an interesting turn. Um, if you guys have been to Tag J before, StrangerGaming.com, uh, let us know, either comments in this video or comments on the site, uh, if you want a hardware section, because it's a new thing for us, uh, we, definitely. <clears throat> I, I just want to say, we're not going to be, you know, getting the the newest graphics cards, we're not going to be, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, on the bleeding edge, uh, because, you know, we really focus on indie games, we really focus on just having a great time, so it's not, we're not benchmarking uh, Crisis, you know, with every new card. We're going to be talking about, this is reasonably priced, this will play stuff that's new, and uh, maybe you should check it out. Yeah. So uh, if that's something that you guys would be interested in, then please, please, feedback, <coughs> we need feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, we thrive on commentary, so absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, comment away, comment on this post, comment on any post. Uh, sign up for our forums; they're a little bit under construction, but then again, so is the main site. So, mm -hmm. just by all means, uh, stay in contact with us. Shoot me an email. Shoot anybody an email. Yep. Just let us know what you think. And I'll put it in the video. Put it all in the description. We've got day one, day two podcast stuff. I'll also put that in the description. Uh, just I'll put likes links all over the place just for you. Uh, so let's see, we do the closing ceremonies. Yeah, you know, closing yeah. ceremony, man. Man, you Who were like... the closest one as far as uh, when it came time to shoot the winners, uh, who got done shooting everyone else. <laughs> uh, Quake Live, man. I, I'm not as familiar with Quake as I am with other first-person shooters, but it, uh, it had me turned on to it. I was like totally engaged in what was going on. Fast-paced, cutthroat, whoa. And yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be QuakeCon without Quake, right? <coughs> so, um, Quake Live Quake. Finals Quake for uh, <laughs> 4 versus Someday. 4 CTF yep. and for 1 versus 1 uh, Duel, is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And um, <coughs> the matches were intense. We had um, Evil Geniuses versus Fnatic for the uh, CTF Finals, and then we had... <coughs> 
cooler uh, cooler versus cipher, cipher yeah uh, both with a c so i, I keep <coughs> mixing them up in my head but um round four of five for the dual uh match went into double overtime for some of the really just most intense competitive yeah, game it, it was it was frag for frag <coughs> and at this point uh cooler is on he's on his match to win yeah and uh i mean he is uh Winning. it was it was <laughs> <coughs> yeah the gap the gap went uh you know cooler's up by two cipher uh picks up four frags and it goes up by two uh you know i mean and and then there's just chaos going on and then it just sits stale at a dead even, I think six. Six and six. Six. So first overtime, they tack on 120 seconds to the timer, and they go at it again, and then they get tied up again, and another 120 seconds goes on the clock, and then uh, is it Cipher just comes out, and I think he pulls like just three frags out for. I mean, within easily, I want to say like almost it felt like 12 seconds, yeah. and I mean th these people are were tops. And I think we got some recording of that, right? Oh, we have recording. We have a lot of footage. I, like <laughs> I, I thought that was going to be the last game, so I was recording. Oh, yeah. record no, like, when you go into double like overtime, it, was over. it looked like it was over. Yeah. But some then, Stanley um, Cup stuff right there. Yeah, it, it went to a fifth game, and the fifth game did not disappoint either. No yeah, overtimes, but very, 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 very good playing. Yeah, my battery so. was dying. To that yeah. second. I was we like, were oh, panicking. Geez. We wanted to get all the best of everything, and the the battery was dying. Absolutely. And uh, so even more intensity on top of everything. So. Uh, but we did get a lot of footage, and uh, I'd like to think that we were, are going to have some kind of a uh, little video kind of highlighting some of the just ridiculous moments, just even of the uh, the dual finals. So stay tuned like for that. Uh, you know, we're trying to put out as much as we possibly can mm -hmm. for QuakeCon 2010. Yeah. Because yeah. it's been just a wild ride for us, so... Anyone who hasn't been to QuakeCon before needs to find a way to get here yeah. if you like gaming at all. It, everybody <laughs> that we've encountered really has been extremely friendly, mm -hmm. extremely receptive to you know us being press to uh, just everybody at the con. Todd, Todd Hollenshed, uh, CEO of ID, and, you know, like he seems like a really friendly guy. He's he loves the crowd. Everybody doing presentations loves the crowd. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. If you ever get a chance, whether at a future QuakeCon or at some other gaming event, to see um, uh, the the director, the president of Splash Damage, uh, Paul Wedgwood. Paul, Paul Wedgwood. Paul Wedgwood. Thank you. Um, he is. Uh, he absolutely commands the stage, and he mm -hmm. um, just does an excellent presentation. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Brink, the already wonderful Brink system was really uh, just accentuated by his presentation skills. I can't so wait for that. I can't wait for that yeah, game. It definitely one of one of the ones where you're just like, I need to have this. It's one. It's it's yeah. not one where you'll buy it and get tired of it. It's it's definitely one that you'll just come back to. And because there's so many ways to go about going about a level, as many as there are ways to go about customizing your character, from loadouts to scars. To clothes, I mean, classes and abilities. I mean, it's just there's so much insane, so much. and it's not it's not <coughs> overwhelming. But say if you have a particular gun that you just adore, you can go in there and you can change. Uh, you can have duct taped magazines together. You can have. At the cost uh, and of extended, yeah, <laughs> everything affects everything else. There's, there's just like a little it normally, give and take. It's like yeah. actually makes sense. It's it actually oh, makes sense. Now. Yeah, oh, um, any stance you take in the game, any you know, if you're leaning or if you're uh, on cover or if you're crouching or prone or whatever, everything affects everything in some way. Yep. And it's just it's everything works in concert and it's beautiful. So. Um, our time is at 15 minutes, and we are um, we have about 30 seconds that we uh, filmed before Safety we time. actually got started. Yeah, so uh, overflow time. So, uh, you guys want to say anything else before we get this closed up? Uh, go ahead and uh, hit us up at astringentgaming.com. Uh, I'm HP Bradcraft. This is Orger Bob. Tucker on the camera. Yo. And thank you again for watching, and please check out other stuff. Quick. Uh,